Hello, in this podcast we're going to be looking at climate diagrams, which are also called climatographs, and our learning objective is to be able to interpret climate diagrams. Now before we can look at climate diagrams, we first have to define climate because we haven't really discussed climate yet, we haven't have discussed weather yet, and we won't for a while. It's The reason why we're looking at climate right now is because climate is one of the most important determining factors in biomes and we are learning biomes right now. So climate is a description of the combined weather conditions for a region or an area. It's not the average weather of an area, it's the combined. Like uh, I say we're looking at temperature. It's not the average temperature for an area. It's You have to look at everything together. Like look at the, look what's happening in the winter, look what's happening in the fall, the spring and in the summer. You don't just look at the average temperature. And the most important variables in climate are temperature and precipitation. Precipitation are different forms of water coming from the sky down to the down to the ground or to the to the water. Uh, things like rain, sleet, snow, hail. Now here I'm going to give you an example of a biome and a climate for that biome. And right here I have um, a bit of an art connection. This is a painting called Morning in the Tropics. It's, it was painted in the 19th century it's by uh, an American, Frederick Church. And he's, his t this school of painting for this is the Hudson River School. One of, it's one of my favorite styles, that and Impressionism. And this biome here is tropical rainforest. And a tropical rainforest, it's warm for the entire year. And it, there's a lot of precipitation for the entire year. You will find some areas where there are rainy seasons and dryish seasons, where it rains so much that the uh, there's a, a flood and where once you had birds flying, there's fish swimming. But even in the dry seasons, there's still a lot of rain. Over here we have the climate graph for the tropical rainforest, and this is for Belize, which is in Central America. This climate graph has two different variables. We've got both temperature and precipitation are on the same graph. Temperature is the line graph, and the and also if you look on the right side, and you'll find there that there you find the temperatures. And in this one, it's degrees Celsius. Sometimes you'll see it in, uh, which is metric, and sometimes you'll see it in degrees Fahrenheit. And precipitation is a bar graph. And on the left side, we have the units for that. And in this case, it looks like it's in millimeters and sometimes you'll see it in inches. Looking and just inter looking at this and describing this graph, it looks like the temperature is relatively high and you see the temperature stay and also relatively steady. Temperature does not really fluctuate at all um, over the course of the year and it remains at about average temperature of around, looks like around in the mid, around low to mid 20s. So that's relatively warm. And when you look at the precipitation, you notice that during quite a few months, it's there's a lot of rain. There's uh, over the course of the over the course of uh, the month. And even during the drier months, there's still there's still some rain. Now this is a little game we're going to play right now. Name that biome and this is going to be the rest of the podcast where we're going to look at the climate graph and we're going to figure out what the biome is being described and on some tests you're going to be given a climate graph and you're going to have to figure out what that biome is. So if we look at this climate graph here let's first look at the precipitation. You see that, you see that the precipitation there's very very little precipitation. It looks like it's see how, it's, how small the bars are and it's pretty steady throughout the whole throughout the whole year. And then look at the temperature. You notice the temperature, it's very cold. Even in the warmest months, it's still below freezing. And when you look at the warmest months, the months of December and January are the warmest months. So that this actually is the southern hem this is in the southern hemisphere. So what kind of biome is this? Where is there very little precipitation and where it's very cold throughout the year? Tundra. Now this is not the same 
area. The, the, that particular climate graph was of the South Pole. This is in Alaska. I just wanted to include a picture that I took, and this is a place I recommend that you go to. It's um, it's Denali National Park, a beautiful place to go. Now we have another biome. This one, you notice that the precipitation is also very low. In some months, it's a little bit there's a little bit more precipitation than we found in the tundra before. And in other months, we see that there's really nothing. There's no rain at all. The temperature wise, it's different. While we do see the same seasonal fluctuations that we saw at the tundra, the temperature is very different. It, there, it's hot. In the summer, it gets significantly hotter than what we saw in the tropical rainforest, where it gets up to close to 40 degrees Celsius which is very hot and and then in the winter it it drops uh, down to about uh, 12 degrees celsius so where is it where it can get really really hot and you got very very little rain very very little rain in the desert next biome so this one here if you look at here we've got lots and lots of rain, and now we got now unlike the other ones we're looking at here, we have instead of metric, we've gone to U.S. measurements. So the temperature we see in the wi in the winter in winter months it get it's still actually relatively warm. It doesn't get down to uh, it gets close to freezing, but not down to freezing. But it does uh, it does get relatively warm, but not too warm in in the summer months. So we got the seasonal fluctuations, but we also have lots and lots of rain. So where is it? So what type of biome is this where you've got moderate temperatures? It's not too hot, not too cold, and we get lots and lots of rain in a temperate rainforest. And we have lots of those along the Pacific Northwest. That particular climate graph was, was from Sitka, Alaska, where you know, Actually, if you go to Alaska, you'll find that it snows so much that they never ever close they never ever close the schools for snow. What they do close the schools for is sun. So that because they get so few sunny days, they want to get out and celebrate it. Now we come to the next one, and if you look at this climate graph here. We see that we've got. Uh, moderate amounts of precipitation and it tends to be very very steady throughout the year we don't have dry we don't have um, rainy seasons and dry seasons and then we look at the temperature we definitely have the seasonal fluctuations it can get warmish during the summers um, but not really hot like we saw in the desert and it can get pretty cold during the, during the uh, during the winters what type of biome is that well, it's actually our biome. It's the temperate deciduous forest, and uh, the, and this picture, uh, believe it or not, is New Jersey. Yes, there are nice, there could be some really pretty spots in New Jersey, and this particular trail here is the most famous hiking trail in the United States, possibly the world. That's the Appalachian Trail. Okay, and next biome. Now, if you look at this temperature here. See, the temperature stays very steady throughout the whole year. So there's really no seasonal fluctuation at all. And it's, and it's pretty warm, but not too warm. And then when we look at the precipitation, we've got a definite rainy season where it rains quite a bit, and a dry season where it doesn't rain at all. What biome is that? Chaparral which is basically what you have like in Los Angeles or also in the Mediterranean region. Next one. Now if you look at the temperature. Temperature it, we've got here cool summers where it uh, average temperature gets to like looks like here doesn't get up to 70 degrees and we've got really cold winters where the average temperature is around freezing but it's a wet climate 
but not as wet as the temperate forest, temperate rainforest that we saw before. What biome is this? Two names for this it could be taiga or boreal forest. These are the largest far, some of the largest forests. Um, that's planted. The largest one would be in Siberia, and you do need to know that. Uh, that's in uh, big, big expanse in Russia. These are basically um, evergreen forests. Now to the concluding questions, and for this we're looking at the climate graph that is. Now we come to the concluding questions, and here we're looking at the climate graph here. And number one, in which hemisphere is this biome? And for that, you need to look at where winter and summer is. Describe the temperature over the course of the year, over the course of the year what happens to the temperature. And number three, over the course of the year, what happens to the precipitation? I'm not asking you what biome this is, uh, though I do expect you to be able to identify the biomes on the test. It's just that that level of question we're going to be doing in class and not uh, as a conclusion to to this uh, podcast. And that concludes this podcast and I'll see you in class tomorrow.